Let's talk about currency pairs today. A currency pair is a combination of two currencies. For example, GBP USD, which means GBP against USD, where the GBP is the base currency and the USD is the quote currency. The GBP stands for Great Britain and the P is for pounds. Also, the US stands for United States and the D is for dollar. So when the GBP goes up, it means the pound is strong. The value of currencies are all relative. So Forex is all about comparing strengths of currencies. And currencies are traded through a Forex broker or a bank and they are quoted and traded in pairs. It's always in pair. Okay, so for example, you see the, um, the quote on your screen which is GBP against U U the USD, where the, the GBP is the base currency and the USD is the coast currency and, and the rate is 1.5486 so it just means that to get one pound you need 1.5486 cents which means one dollar five four eight six cents okay so the most popular pairs are those that include the US dollar in them so how do you know the best pair to trade? Which pairs are the best pair to trade? So overall, there are more than a hundred different currency pairs and one of the first decisions you have to make is which pair to choose. There are three different types of currency pairs. There are three different types of currency pairs. The major currency pairs, the crosses and the exotics. The majors the crosses and the exotics so what are the majors the most traded currency pair in the world are called the majors and they involve the euro the us dollar japanese yen the pound sterling australian dollar canadian dollar and swiss franc these pairs are the most traded pairs in the world and they always involve the us dollar in them they always have the us dollar in them so if you want to know a major currency pair, it always have the USD on them, either slash against or the USD being the base or it base or it's is a quote. For example, Euro USD. Euro USD is a major currency pair because it has USD in it. GBP USD is an example also. USD JPY, USD CHF, USD card, AUD USD, NZD USD. All these are major currency pairs because they have the US dollar in them and they are the most traded pairs in the world. So majors are most convenient pairs to trade, not only for beginners, but also for experienced traders. They have the highest liquidity, lowest spreads, and the widest range of rates movement. Majors are also more stable and unpredictable because developed countries are less prone to sudden major political or economic chaos. I hope you understand. So what are crosses? Crosses are pairs that do that don't have the US dollar in them. If you want to know the majors, like I said, the majors always have the US dollar in them, right? Why the crosses don't have the US dollar in them? So for example, GBP, JPY. Euro GBP, CAD JPY, AUD CAD, which is which is AUD card, Euro AUD, NZD JPY, and so on. Anyone that doesn't have the US dollar in them is a cross pair. Okay, so there are over a hundred of them. There are over hundred currency pairs in the world. So to differentiate them, you have to know the ones that are the majors. The ones that are the crosses, the ones that the ones that are majors have the US dollar in them, while the crosses doesn't have the US dollar in them. Okay, so exotics also exotics are currency pairs that contain a currency of a developing country. So whenever you see a country that is developing, you know that currency pair is an exotic. Whenever you see a currency pair that does that, the currency pairs are of a developing country. You should know. They are exotics. Okay, so exotic pairs are traded less often. They, do, they are not traded all the time because their liquidity is very low and the spread can be super, super high. Exotics are most traded by experienced traders who have some inside information about a country's economy. Okay, 
So I hope you understand what major what major currency pairs are, what crosses are, and what exotics are. Okay. So for example, the, the crosses. Sorry, for the exotics. Let me give you an example of exotics, which is the Hong Kong dollar, the HKD, the South African rand, which is the ZA, Z -A -R, Z -A -R, the Thai bas, which is THP, Singapore dollar, South Korean one, Mexican peso. Russian Federation Rubble, Indian Rupee, and so on. You, 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 you might also see most of these um, already developed countries that are still under the exotics. Okay. So right now, I hope you understand what currency pairs are. And if you don't really understand, you can watch the video over again and you will be able to understand it thanks for watching and then i'll catch you in the next video don't forget to subscribe like and comment if it's a question you have to ask or something else you want to you know drop in the comment section just do that and i'll catch you in the next video